Kate Middleton pregnant, Duchess heartbreaking nod to Diana amid pregnancy. Kate Middleton shared a heartbreaking similarity to her mother-in-law Princess Diana while she was expecting her first child, unearthed accounts reveal. The Duchess of Cambridge has so far welcomed three children to the world, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, and speculation has continued to grow throughout the year that Kate may want another child with husband Prince William. An appearance on the podcast Happy Mum, Happy Baby saw royal family fans debate the topic, as they continue to wait for the announcement of who the next Windsor mother will be. But in a throwback report, Details from Kate's first birth have emerged including a major health concern that she shared with William's mother Diana. Both suffered terrible morning sickness, which resulted in the Duchess being hospitalized ahead of giving birth to Prince George. And Kate was forced to follow in Diana's footsteps in another way as the Princess of Wales became the first royal to give birth in a hospital during William's arrival nearly 40 years ago. Speaking before Kate gave birth, Ingrid Seward, editor-in-chief of the UK's Majesty magazine, told Good Morning America, Diana, funny enough, paved the way for this morning sickness. She had terrible morning sickness and she said the royal family never heard it. She was doing her duty and feeling absolutely ghastly so once again Diana is there, paving the way for Kate. Diana was 20 years old when she announced in November, 1981 that she was pregnant with first child William, just three months after she married husband Prince Charles. William would become the first royal baby to be born in hospital, with Diana reportedly in labor for 16 hours before the future king arrived. Kate would go on to give birth in the St. Mary's Hospital's iconic Lindo wing which has previously seen new royal mothers such as Diana emerge outside with their child for the first time. After they arrive pictures are taken of the couple and their newest arrival, with CNN royal expert Victoria Arbiter suggesting the royals like to be as visible and accessible to their subjects as possible. M's Arbiter advised that she and William would likely want to get out of the hospital and return to the homely setting of Kensington Palace as soon as possible. She added, Diana had William on June 21st and left June 22nd, and I'm sure William and Kate are hoping for something similar. If all goes well with the delivery, Kensington Palace gives them privacy and security without added worries. Before George arrived, Kate was admitted to the King Edward VII Hospital, London, in order to be treated for hyperemesis gravidarum an acute morning sickness which requires supplementary hydration and nutrients in 2012. The excitement of a royal baby announcement emerged earlier this year after Kate chatted with the Happy Mum, Happy Baby podcast. She told the broadcast that all mothers suffer from mum guilt, and that anyone who doesn't as a mother is lying. The Duchess of Cambridge added, There's such a pull, but I am such a hands-on mum and whatever you're doing you want to make sure you're doing the uttermost best job you can for your children.